from London. Yeah. Okay. So here is my newly almost finished uh, polar dismount. So I'm going to show you all the parts and pieces. Come on. Okay. So zoom here. And here we got uh, these bearings hold uh, the bottom of the rotor that's going to go here and it rotates like this. Um, this bearing holds the back of the rotor, same on this side. And these bearings hold the, the edge of the rotor so that it doesn't go down. Can you show this one here? Uh huh. And then up here, up here, up. That bearing holds, uh, holds the rotor so that it doesn't tip over this way. Okay? So this bearing can rotate here like this. Up here we have a, a shaft assembly. Um, I put these uh, um, aluminum angles, I epoxy them together to create a V-block. You can kind of see how they're glued together here. Um, then we have a, a five inch long uh, shoulder screw. You can see it going all the way down, all the way out to here. The end of that shoulder screw, it's all a machine surface all the way to the edge here where this retainer is. Um, after that, it becomes a half inch thread, uh, three quarter inch long. So here at the end I have this, this nut, then a lock nut, then a metal washer and a neoprene washer. That what, what happens is that you can see this bearing can turn right now and the shaft does not turn with it. If I tighten this nut here, it becomes like a, it, it acts like as a clutch for that bearing. So now that bearing will not turn. It'll only turn with that shaft. That's when I want to um, have the tracking on the telescope. Okay. So in, um, on the machine surface, I have the drive bearing, this one. I have a um, ring retainer, then another bearing here around the machine surface of the shaft, another ring retainer right here, and then if you go up you see another ring retainer, and another bearing. They're really hard to see here. You can see that that's the retainer, that's the bearing, and then we have another retainer up there. And then we have this gear. That gear connects to that worm. That worm connects to this little gearbox. And then that gearbox connects to that little motor with the worm. So originally, I only had this uh, little gearbox here. This is uh, scavenged from a ETX-90 telescope uh, altitude assembly. Even this gear here. Now you, you can see that uh, this motor is not working at all. It's, I had simply, simply left it in there uh, for alignment of this little gearbox. The only one doing any work is that motor right there. And it's connected to uh, the um, Arduino board here with a motor shield. And I got two batteries in there. So the code makes that motor turn at the, just the right speed to be able to track the stars. So, uh, this is how this is mounted. And that's it. Then I can mount the scope on top, and at the bottom I can add those um, counterweights right here. Right at the bottom, they're going to be on the back of the of the declination shaft. Oops. There we go. I'm sorry. Yes, I got me. I don't know what you can, you can go around if you want. <laughs> And then we can turn it on here.
You can see it running. It's not going to turn. I need to have balance it and, and do all that work. You can do this to focus. Uh -huh. And then you just turn it off. So that's it. Now I'm going to show you some short pictures and videos uh, just kind of depicting the mental process of how everything came together. Okay, PWM is set to 20. I'm going to upload new code with uh, PWM of 23 to speed it up a bit. Uploading now. Okay, it's going too fast. Let's do 21. Loading. Seems to be just about right. too fast.
Gracias.